with reference to what happened after the operation, um, once the operation is completed, you can uh, return home. The anesthetic in the skin will wear off within about an hour. And, uh, and, and then you can feel a slight discomfort on the area. Um, the vast majority of people only call it a slight discomfort, but there are things that you can do to uh, easy things and make it better. The one thing that we really recommend uh, is to ice the area uh, throughout the rest of the day. So w please put an ice pack on the scrotum, not directly on the skin, but through the underwear, and ice it on and off for the rest of the day. Um, by all means, if it becomes too cold, then uh, stop for a little while and then start again. But that's important so that you don't bruise or you don't get swollen. We will also give you a prescription uh, for some painkiller. The most important of those being an anti-inflammatory, so something that is not only acting as pain relief, but also um, helps to keep the inflammation under control, so no swelling, no bruising, and uh, quick healing. We recommend that you take this tablet once in the morning and once in the evening with some food. Occasionally, it can happen that people have a little bit of bruising, uh, so that uh, colors the skin and it's something that can happen after any surgery but please don't worry about it uh, with time within a couple of weeks that will disappear and things will look back normal with reference to sexual life people often ask us when they can uh, re-assume uh, a normal sexual activity and the answer is anytime you feel comfortable the one thing to remember is that uh, you might notice a little bit of blood in the ejaculate and that can actually continue for a few weeks uh, or even up to six weeks after the vasectomy. By all means, don't worry about it. It's just uh, that the site is healing and the blood that you see coming out will soon stop. It's a normal thing and it will get back to normal very quickly. So that pretty much covers most of the post-operative stuff. Um, the other thing I guess very important to realize is that you will be walking out of here fine uh, and the vasectomy will be finished. But in terms of it working, it does take a number of months before you're able to clear out the sperm that are already in the system. So you'll work out, walk out of here pretty much as uh, fertile as you walked in. Um, so for at least three months after the procedure, you must continue to use other forms of contraception. There are a few other little bits and pieces about vasectomy that we'd like you to know about. Um, there is a condition called chronic testicular pain syndrome. Um, again, one of these things that it's good to know about but not to get too uh, upset or wound up about. Um, a small proportion of men can find that after they've recovered from the vasectomy and they're feeling fine, they can start to develop some pain in their testicles maybe weeks, maybe months or even years later. Um, there's a number of reasons why this may occur but it appears generally to be to do with a bit of inflammation in around the area or maybe some changes to the nerve endings. In practical terms uh, we'll find this will we'll get a phone call from someone maybe once or twice a year with this sort of condition um, and if this occurs uh, almost always we're able to manage it with a short course of medication which just calms everything down and then it settles down. It'd be extremely rare for it to go on for a long period of time. So worth knowing about, but again, wouldn't get too worried about it. Another question um, that's brought up and has been brought up in the press from time to time is uh, this link between prostate cancer and vasectomy or supposed link. There is uh, and proven time and time again that there is no link between the two. It's important to realize that vasectomy uh, is a permanent procedure and so you shouldn't go ahead with this unless you're 100% sure that you don't want to have more children. Uh, reversal operations are possible but they don't work all the time and they are very expensive. Occasionally, um, even though a man might be sure, he might want uh, some sort of insurance policy and some guys do choose to freeze some semen down um, before they've had their vasectomy and then put it on, put it away just in case uh, they, they change their mind in the future. That is possible, it's not something that we ourselves organise but it can be organised through some other clinics around New Zealand and our nurses can give you some information on that if that's something you want to consider. So in short, vasectomy is simple, uh, it's straightforward, it's uh, relatively painless and very quick. Uh, so whatever you do, don't worry about it and we'll look after you.